Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Gender Render on the Weekends. We begin today, of course, with Bree for this time, because I think we're going to get the last of the endings that are actually worth obtaining, because, frankly, getting every single little bit of ending, some of them, as you know, are just those bizarre endings that, frankly, aren't really worth the effort half the time. I'm trying to figure out... Oh, autoplay is turned off. There we go, just a throwaway sticky note that's white. I hate white. So, basically, I don't know what to say. <laughs> just in general. I was going to say something, but now I got nothing. Hmm. Ever had that feeling where you stretch so much or so hard that it's actually not relaxing but exactly the opposite of it where your energy just feels drained? <laughs> oh, by the way, as usual, the heater is on, so you hear some extra fan noise, that's what that is. Because it's 60 degrees in my room without it. Fahrenheit. Freaking cold in here. I'm surprised these guys haven't been looking for other jobs, in all honesty. Like, I'm really serious. I'm surprised that they haven't even been looking. Like, yes, this is a job, but you'd think that they would look for something else with higher pay. Because I never, that never once occurred to me until now. Oh, and also for those wondering why the pink and pur why the yellow and purple, I've only got these six colors to pick from, and none of them go with yellow, except for these ones, and I have these other ones assigned for other people. And nothing really goes uh, other than yellow with Ben. Because if you take a look at white, ugh, or an ugly and blank color, and you go yellow again, and you're just like, why? <laughs> so I went with purple because I got nothing else. Tell me about it. I'm not the only dude in here. <laughs> Like they said, the budget's out of their control at this point, especially with the salaries. <laughs> I don't think that's a jerk move, I think that's an illegal move. Just saying. I'm pretty sure that's illegal. I mean, if they made it back to you, then whatever, but... Hmm. <laughs> no, I'm just hungry. Liam do in his office? <laughs> that is something that I'm genuinely curious about. Not to mention there's no feet or skin being tested. <laughs> Just want to point that small uh, bit of information out. Oh, 
What are you guys talking about money for? Don't talk about money. Uh. <laughs> What keeps passing by the house that makes such a big loud diesel noise? That's the third time in about three hours. I think it's been happening like once an hour, once every 30 minutes or so. Why is that in front of my recording? Get rid of that. There's a giant sticky note that I have for job descriptions and stuff that I need to work on today. And it was in the middle of my recording. Or at least a little preview window. <laughs> Have you ever met someone that had such bad handwriting that they couldn't read their own handwriting? It's kind of sad when your handwriting is so bad that, it, that the person who wrote it can't even read it. But yet someone else close to them can. It's just like, this person reads your writing more than you do? Holy crap. <laughs> Ringworm. Well, I know I've heard of ringworm. I'm not thinking of tapeworm. What is that one worm that sticks in your foot? It's this worm in Africa, and it, and you have to take like a stick, and it ha and you have to get it to bite on the stick, and then you have to just wind it out of your body. It's like two or three feet long. It's really freaking creepy. Here, let me see if I can find it. African worm in foot. Oh, I spelled African wrong. I forgot the C. Yeah, I found it. Dracula, blah blah blah. Dracun kulakaila. <laughs> Okay, quit showing me news sites about the damn worm. Tell me its name. Its name. For fuck's sake, give me the name of the worm. What is it? Is it guinea worm? I think that's it. Oh, it is that Draculinus thingy. You guys can look up pictures of that on your own. Just type in African worm in foot. You'll see it literally immediately. Now let's look up ringworm, just to see what ringworm is. Ringworm. Is that the same thing? No, it is not. Oh, that is disturbing. No, it is not. Ooh. Looks like someone put a rash on your hand or something. Oh, hey, Ben. <laughs> You're finally turned into Bree with a cat face? Oh, I'm Chinese cat... I'm Chinese cat master. One. <laughs> that was so terrible. I'm going to stop talking for a second. Ah, oh, that was so terrible. Oh, my God, it's so tiny. Will it grow bigger? Well, we're staring at it, so it's got to be bigger somehow. Will she be athletic, or will she be big? Athletic it is! <laughs> Holy crap, it's already been ten minutes. It hasn't even felt like five!
Hello, Tiny Dan. Lean on Dan's head. Quick, lean on Dan's head. Be a totem pole. Be a totem pole. Totem pole. That's the episode no, title. Totem pole. Totem pole. Totem pole. Exclamation point. I keep saying that I'm going to write down the names of the episodes, but then I always forget. So this time I don't want to forget Totem Pole. That's why half of my episodes are unnamed, is because either I forgot what I was going to name them, or because I just didn't know what to call them at that point, because there was nothing relevant. Stop making that damn noise. My glasses rub against my actual headphones. It makes this dumb noise, and I hope you guys can't hear it. Oh my god, what happened in here? <laughs> Is anyone dead? Dead people, answer her! My god, Dennis Caboose. My god. <laughs> Dan is as distracted as Caboose from Red vs. Blue. Dan is that distracted. Because I was recently watching some of the older episodes, and I came across where Caboose thought Andy the Bomb had turned into Lopez, had turned into a real boy, but in reality it was just Lopez. And then that Andy, Cat, are you whining? I thought I heard the cat whining. But then Lopez got swapped with a skull, and then Caboose thought that Andy had died. <laughs> yep, the cat's whining. Hold on. I'm glad I actually remembered to mute that. Cat wants to go outside, but I'm in the middle of something, Cat. Thankfully, he's not in this room. My back just cracked. <laughs> Whatever happened, it blew up in our faces. <laughs> Kaboom! Imagine if I could actually make a kaboom that was louder than their kaboom. If I max out the volume on this, will I get louder? Will I get louder? Yes, I freaking will. Now what happens if I do this? Am I quieter now? Am I super quiet now? How about now? And now I'm back to normal with your crazy loud self. Ha 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 ha. I notice that my videos are a lot louder than most people's, because most people like having their volumes like dead end quiet on their goddamn YouTube videos. Why the hell does everyone have to have their videos dead-end quiet? Is it just that mine is that much more louder? Is it just that mine's louder, or is it that theirs is obviously dead-end quiet because they're assholes? Because I'm not really sure. Because I watched someone's video, and it's like, you know, normal normal loudness, but then when I watch something from like Achievement Hunter Rooster Teeth, they're kind of talking like this in comparison. And I'm just like, what? What? <laughs> like an old dude or something. It's like they're afraid that someone's going to pierce through their brain cells because they're wearing headphones or something. And then of course you watch Raid Quit, and then that's normal because that's probably why everything's quieter now that I think about it. Keep in mind, that may be a long time ago since that actually happened. So, why are my ribs sore? Oh, I must have slept on it wrong again. The price of sleeping weird. 
I really do need to record myself when I sleep. I really need to know what the hell I'm doing when I sleep. Because sometimes I'll wake up and something will be knocked over, or like my disc tray or my small stereo will be open, or something bizarre like that. I really need to figure out what I'm doing in my sleep. <sighs> oh, on another note, you shouldn't have been able to hear that. I started playing Pokemon Shuffle. It's a free to play, and it's completely boring. Thankfully, it's balanced, for the most part. I only had it for like two days, and I caught Mew yesterday. Which is like the first day that I had the game. Took me three hours, but I did eventually get Mew. I think it took me like five to ten attempts. Yolu took me at least twenty. Well, at least ten or fifteen. <laughs> but if I wake up and the whole world is female. Well, considering that you were tall as shit as a dude, yeah. Yeah, like, you were as tall as Bree is now, but then you just shrunk. By about two heads. <laughs> Melons! Well, it's kind of hard not to. You see the skinny waist, then you see what's above the skinny waist, and you're just like, whoa. <laughs> kind of hard not to stare. Ah, well, she'll get used to it. <laughs> she'll get used to it. I probably would be too if I was off balance half my height and a different gender. <laughs> oh, the fume hood. I never remembered what the name of that thing was. It's called a fume hood. It's where you put all dangerous chemicals and fumes and shit. It's basically just... It's literally a box. About the size of a bookshelf. But it's on a counter. You know, so it just goes all the way up. It's just a box. It's about bookshelf in length and... <laughs> length and width, not wanks. What the hell? Length and width. Or depth, or whatever you want to call it. And it's just got this glass box. You know, it's got this glass window, and you just lift, put your crap in there, you close it, you turn on the fume hood, you turn on the vent. Just like one of those kitchen vent things, it just goes whoop, and it's gone. Don't know where it goes, but that's probably what caused it to explode. <laughs> and you can leave the fume vent thing open if you really need to. <laughs> you know, like if you're actually working with like, hey, don't breathe in this chemical, then you could work inside of the damn thing while having it turned on, you know. But I wouldn't leave it turned on when there's nothing to slurp up into the filter thingy. So if you're ever in a chemistry lab, or any other type of science lab, and you see one of those bookshelves with a glass front, that's probably what that is. It's called a fume hood. It's where you put all the dangerous crap. I never remembered to talk about it.
Dan. De. <laughs> Seriously, what the hell is passing by the house? That's two times in about five minutes. Is a snowplow or something? Yeah, and apparently double D and regular D are two separate sizes. Apparently that's a thing. So instead of having an F size, they have D and double D. What the hell? <laughs> I mean, honestly. I saw a disc in my drive. Oh, right, 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 right. I was going to say, what's that dumb little symbol on my desktop doing there? Because it's only there when I have a disk in the drive. In a magical explosion. <laughs> and look what just happened to us. You call this normal? Hey, don't underestimate transvestites, dude. <laughs> don't underestimate them. Damn, my allergies are really not good today. Have you ever noticed that getting up and walking around somehow magically helps your sinuses? I'm not sure if it's placebo effect or not. I can't really figure that part out. Good lord, it really does. Holy shit. Well, she is an intern. She doesn't have much else that she can do. <laughs> yeah, that does make sense. Wait a minute. <laughs> Ben, Ben Bree, <laughs> Ben Bree sounds completely dumb, but Bree Ben just sounds weird. Just like, who's a Bree Ben? Are you Bree Ben? No, I'm Hansel and Gretel. <laughs> you know. You know what would be funny? If their last name was Gretel, their first name was Hansel, and their middle name was Ann, A N N E. That would be funny and interesting. My god, I almost forgot the title of the episode, but then I looked and I'm like, oh yeah! <laughs> Whoops. What's fun? Are you fun? I'm not fun. Who's fun? Fun, 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 fun. In case you haven't noticed, my ADHD is obviously kicking in. What's going on here? Hi. <laughs> Don't go. Oh, oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Oh, wait till she gets home. And you're fine walking home alone in the dark. Mm-hmm. So are you planning to stay the night then? <laughs> or are you gonna have Bri or uh, Lynn and Dina? Uh, duh. 
Protector. Escort, no. Um, whatever. Protect. There you go. Protect you. On the way home. Danny Bell! <laughs> technically, it's just bending the rules, but it's not technically cheating. Oh! Oh, God! Ding dong! Oh, I know. No, that's just. whatever. Duh! Ladies and gentlemen... What? No. Damn you, double click. Yeah, my mouse is getting a stupid double click problem, for those who don't know. Those who do, sorry for mentioning it again, but... Nonetheless, it is time to end the episode. I would like to, of course, thank everyone for watching, and I, of course, will encourage you to not only spread this series, but also the series of... Well, everything else. <laughs> I make very easy to manage playlists for that exact reason. That and Gender Bender probably has over 100 videos on it at this point. <laughs> In all honesty. Oh, speaking of which, uh, the artist has gotten their main computer back. So, we can probably expect Rose within the next, uh, maybe three ish weeks. So, Rose should be piloting out pretty soon. Their art streams are, of course, going on. Uh, if you really want to find them, you can obviously try to do so. But I, of course, will not link to them because I'm not going to start with that. You may not be hating on me, but that doesn't mean you're not hating. So, not taking the risk, not taking the chance, not going to link to it. Same with those damn worms. I'm not going to link to those. Have fun with those. Like I said, just African worm and foot and ringworm. You don't want to see it? Don't bother. <laughs> you know, that simple. My Twitter is, of course, as always, in the description towards the bottom. If you want to see what random nonsense, I tend to retweet, like, funny cat videos and stuff. Well, not videos, more like lol cats and stuff, or, you know, the actual videos. <laughs> Hint. And when they usually come out, they'll usually come out around 5 o'clock Central Standard Time in the U.S. Just look up a time map and count, you know, 1, 2, 3, 4, until you get to whichever time zone you're in. And then add or subtract that amount that you just counted. Or, better yet, just follow me on Twitter. Ha ha! Uh, what else do I have to say? Outside of this stupid squeaking noise. I hope it's not bugging you guys like it is me. But, nonetheless, thank you all for watching, and good day and good clicking.